story tala London Network Daily Post. Menta perlokan orang HP ke kubur. Kumno kadu external affairs minister jangka India yang kirisap ni. Badai ke jing arsap. Halor kitir ya pom haka jing elek. Tong ini sengap. Sangat kelau external affairs minister SJ Shankar haki risip ni sashi sin. Halor ke pesian jangka India halor ke Rusia. Penken mau Jay Shankar haki risip ni. Ya ke jing yang jong la jong haka por bakalem ke Afghanistan. Syakil enak Taliban. Pencai kerpang Jay Shankar haki jing bom jubab ke Amerika. Ya ke jing minon Afghanistan. Jubab u Jay Shankar haki jing keli. Now foreign minister jangka Norway. Harai Sina Dialog ha New Delhi. Wadaw ke risik ni ke jing pom penrem ke India ke jing hertma ke Rusia ha Ukraine. Lajar kata, ban biang uji syangkar ke peong ba Yang ke India ya ke jing suk Bat kua ban kut no ke jing elek ha Ukraine There is really nobody who wants to see this conflict I mean, this, there will be no winners out of this conflict uh, So, but I, I also stress and I say this to you Because both of you are my European colleagues uh, And I understand that at this moment uh, This would probably occupy you to the exclusion of almost everything else. But there is also a world out there, and I'm very glad that you're sitting here in India, uh, because it would remind you that uh, there are equally pressing issues in other parts of the world. I mentioned Afghanistan. I mentioned the challenges uh, which we faced in Asia. Uh, and if I were to put those very challenges in terms of principles, I mean, when, when rules-based order was uh, under challenge in Asia, the advice we got from Europe is do more trade. At least we're not giving you that advice. Uh, and, uh, uh, the, and in terms of, uh, you know, Afghanistan, I mean, please show me which part of the rules-based order uh, justified, uh, you know, what, what the world did there. So, so let's, let's uh, I think, uh, see this in the right context. Uh, as, you know, our position is that we all have to find some way of returning to diplomacy and dialogue. And to do that, the fighting must stop. I think that is really the focus of what we are trying to do. We've been hearing for the last two months a lot of, our, lot of arguments from Europe, saying, you know, there are things happening in Europe and Asia should worry about it because these could happen in Asia. Guess what? Things have been happening in Asia for the last 10 years. Now, Europe may not have looked at it. So, so you know, it, 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 this could be a wake-up call for Europe, not just in Europe. It could be a wake-up call for Europe to also look at Asia. Uh, so, there have been, I mean, this has not been an easy part of the world for the last decade. Uh, and, uh, I mean, this is a part of the world uh, where uh, you know, uh, boundaries have not been settled, uh, uh, where uh, terrorism is still practiced, often uh, sponsored by states. Uh, this is a part of the world where, uh, you know, the rule-based order has been under continuous stress for more than a decade. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's important for the rest of the world, outside Asia, to, to recognize that today. It's, it's not the problems are going to happen. The problems have been happening.